Yeah, I committed to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo um, for baseball, and I'm super excited about it. I mean, yeah, last summer was kind of disappointing. I didn't have any offers, um, and I felt like I was doing all right, but I just wasn't up to the competition level that I needed to be at. And, um, you know, I worked really hard to get there all last summer, and to have it pay off this summer was just really special. There were obviously a lot of trials and tribulations that I had to go through, um, just like everybody else, but it's the way that you handle them and the way that you adapt to those problems. Um, it's gonna dictate the success you have, and I'm glad I was able to adapt and, and uh, be able to say that I'm going to Cal Poly now and enjoy the moment. We're gonna get a copyright strike from the bagpipe players down there. You guys can see. We're sorry about that. Super distracting, sorry guys. We're actually out here in Ireland. <laughs> um, we're gonna go interview McGregor later. We're talking about the fight, you know. It's another day in the life. Almost just fell through the Yeah, I mean, you're, you're not owed anything. You know, you're not entitled to anything. Uh, this is one of the things I wrote about in the last vulnerability post is, like, the scariest thing is you could work, you could spend countless hours working and in the end it's not guaranteed that you're gonna get the result you want. You know, and that's the leap of faith that you take when you dive in to an endeavor like this. Like, say I wanna go get an offer and I'm gonna put in all this work and I might not get any offers and you still gotta be able to be happy and learn, you know, from that. You know, you might have learned a couple qualities, discipline, you were disciplined in your training, you were learned how to how to deal with adversity once again, you know, if you work that hard and you don't get any offers. But um, for me I felt like I just put it in my mind, I was like, I'm gonna get offers, you know, I'm gonna work this hard and I'm not gonna stop until I get them. And that's the way I looked about it. Um, and I mean there's so many resources out there online that there's no excuse for you to you know, to say that you don't have enough information or to, that you don't know how to do a certain lift and stuff like that. Because I mean, you, there's so many resources out there. Obviously, they're not all the best resources, but you need to filter them and find the ones that you trust. And you find those, and then you just take it from there. Um, I also have chickens too, so I mean, that's a great option. You don't live in Santa Cruz, but um, eggs are great. I mean, cholesterol's not that bad. People try to make it out to be something really bad. Your body and your brain needs cholesterol to function. So make sure you get, get on those eggs. I mean, they're great protein to carb ratio too. I know from talking to some of the parents that they assume that you're privileged yeah. and arrogant and I don't think that's the case at all. Yeah, I mean I don't know, you don't judge a book by its cover. I mean, I only went to a private school for high school, so I mean, I didn't really grow up there, you know, obviously, or else yeah. I wouldn't know Daniel, coming from Shoreline. But, um, yeah, I mean, you don't really know the full story, but it's whatever. And now I just use it as motivation. I'll write it down in my notebook, you know what I mean? I mean, it just fuel for the fire. Um, probably, it bothered me probably when I, was, when I was younger. I mean, I wasn't developed yet, didn't really know a lot of uh, how to use stuff in your life, you know, how to utilize that type of stuff, but, I mean, as you grow older, you just, you know, you come to love it, kind of, love hate way. What do you have to say to anyone that, that's hated? Thank you. <laughs> I mean, it gave me a lot more motivation. Uh, if everyone loves you, you know, they say you're not doing it right. So, I mean, that's just a, just a notion that's just been proved to be tried and true. Um, you know, in the world, there's a lot of examples out there. And, uh, I mean, it's good to be polarizing, like we were talking about, you know. Yeah. You gotta be, don't be lukewarm, be... Be passionate about what you like, and you know if I'm gonna go out there and I mean I'll, I'll I'll be the most arrogant player on the court, you know. I mean off the court I won't be, but you need I need that type of stuff on the court. It gets me fired up. So, yeah.